Gregor the Warsaw Mikhailovich first discovered poker in the back of a bowling alley. He soon became one of the first online poker professionals in Poland, posting eight consecutive winning years at the online tables. For Gregor, poker represents a freedom that wasn't always available in his beloved city of Warsaw, and it affords him the kind of lifestyle he's always dreamed of. My name is Grzegorz Mikielewicz and I am a member of Poker Stars Team Online since 2009. I live in Warsaw and my poker nickname is The Warsaw and I, I hope it shows that I, I am very really proud of it. I was actually one of the first Polish poker players. When I started playing I was focused mainly on the multi-table tournaments, then I decided to uh, to play more sit and goes. For the last two years, I play almost exclusively uh, small stakes, short handed cash games. Może 12 grudnia, ale nie jest. Ale ja dostał. Ale damy na ten. Jakie mają blindy? Dwa razy więcej. Ten ma. At the moment, I would consider Wojtek as my closest uh, poker friend. Myślę, że gdyby nie Warsaw, dużo mniej swojej grzebym się przyglądał, dużo mniej bym analizował. Poker nie jest łatwą dyscypliną i jest wiele, wiele momentów um, zwątpienia. Są okresy downswingu, są okresy gorszej, gorszego nastawienia. I Warsaw jest niezrównanym motywatorem. Zmuszaczem. E, zmuszaczem, tak. Żeby, żeby przeczekiwać gorsze okresy, żeby um, spokojnie grać dalej swoje, nie podlegać tiltowi, emocjom. Um, mniej, natomi... wy, mniej wydawać na buty. Mniej wydawać na buty. <laughs> I met Wojtek for the first time, I think, about 10 years ago. We were playing uh, bowling together. I think bowling was introduced to Poland in the late 90s. I was going to the bowling center in almost every day and practice and practice. Warsaw, Warsaw w, w bowlingu miał zupełnie inną ksywę. Miał, miał, tak. miał nick e, Dude. Od Big Lebowskiego. We are at the bowling center. We are playing here a small exhibition game with my bowling friends. There is 11 perfect games between these guys, so uh, they are very good. When I was playing a lot and I was good at it, I would love to be a professional bowling player. But uh, because uh, bowling was so young in Poland, it couldn't provide for a full-time job. I ja pamiętam, że przez jakiś czas może nie teraz żyłem z bowlingu, ale nieźle sobie to radziałem. A ja, jak to wygląda teraz? Jest to były kiedyś nawet były większe nagrody niż teraz. Tak? 8 9 lat temu było w turnieju można wygrać, nie wiem, 2-3 tysiące były za pierwsze miejsca, a w tej chwili mnóstwo turniejów więcej jest tylko dajmy 1000 zł za pierwsze miejsce. I think after about a year, when I uh, was playing bowling less and less, I started playing more online poker. Warsaw na pewno, na pewno jest jednym z pierwszych, e, może nawet pierwszym, <laughs> graczem pokerowym, profesjonalnym online w Polsce. For me, poker is a symbol of freedom, and I think this is uh, something I definitely couldn't do like 20 years ago. My country, Poland, has a rough history. It's been occupied very often during the last 250 years. And just after the World War II, Poland was occupied by the Soviet Union. Poland was a grey, sad country. There were no freedoms for people at all. Everything was controlled by the country, by the government. Uh, it was very tough to, for people to live in, in this kind of system. There was no such thing as a professional poker player. Maybe some people thought that they are professional gamblers because there were few casinos in Poland open, but this has nothing to do with what we can call now a prof professional poker player.
And during the last 20 years, everything in Poland and everything in Warsaw has changed from the old grey times to the new modern buildings, new modern people, activities. Actually, everything has changed. No, a jutro ten. Jutro wyścig z Jurim. Coś mi odpisywał na sms a nie na ten, ale mam nadzieję, że... No, może ja przyjdę rezerwowo w razie czego, ja pojeżdżę z tobą. Unfortunately, I have a history of making a lot of silly prop bets, and most of, of which I have lost. No, no, muszę powiedzieć, że Warsaw jest mistrzem w, w podejmowaniu dziwnych zakładów. Zdaje się, że 90% zakładów przegrał. No, może nie wydzielę 10. We are in Blue City, to jest shopping mall in Warsaw, and we are at the go-kart track, and we're gonna make some challenge against Yuri. Oh, we're in a go-kart center. Uh, where one of the <laughs> poker players is about to get demolished. <laughs> Yuri is a semi-professional uh, go-kart driver. He's very good at this, so uh, he gave me handicap. Basically, we're gonna do, we're gonna do four rounds, and whoever comes up with a better time uh, wins. Welcome, race fans, to today's event, Yuri vs. De Warsaw. Winner takes all. Ready, set, go! And they're off. De Warsaw takes the early lead. He's sharp, he's focused, he came to play. He certainly doesn't look like the underdog right now, but look out, here comes Yuri. He's moving at an unbelievable pace, and oh, Yuri wins the first race. De Warsaw isn't giving up. Here he comes barreling down the straightaway. What a turn. Yuri is struggling. He takes the turn wide and, oh, beautiful recovery. Yuri wins the second race. I'm losing by one second. I can only lose by 0.3. I'm struggling a little bit at the moment. In the third race, Yuri starts out strong. And Yuri wins the third race. No more Mr. Nice Yuri. And this is the final race, folks. The Warsaw has only one last chance. It all comes down to this. Here comes Yuri again. And he's too fast. And Yuri wins. Oh. I lost by uh, 0.3 of seconds. For not a professional, he's really quick. He's really quick. If, yeah. Not quick enough. <laughs> if I play cards like he race cards, I'd be a rich man. <laughs> I think uh, poker is a symptom of new Poland because it's uh, this kind of a new activity which was not accessible back in the old times. So I feel really fortunate that this happened now and I can be a part of it. I can enjoy my freedom and I can do whatever I want and one of those things is playing poker.